Is it possible that Jesus was an Anunnaki hybrid? From what we have seen over and over again, the truth is always hidden under a pile of lies and is twisted and turned upside down until what little truth remains is so obscured that we don't know what to believe anymore. Jesus and the Council of Nicaea From my studies of theology, I have learned that the figure known as Jesus was created by the Council of Nicaea in the year 325 AD as a way to bring together all of the Yeshua ben Yusuf cults via Emperor Constantine. The council added that the supernatural abilities of Mithra, Horus and Osiris to the Jesus entity they created and from that point forward Christianity was created. The Bible has missing chapters such as the Book of Enoch, the Book of Jubilees, the Book of Numbers and the Book of the Wars of Joah. So one must question why any books would be eliminated and why. What we know through these missing books is that Joah was known as Lord and was a god of vengeance and wrath. It is possible that when Jesus replaced Joah that people are unknowingly worshipping the same god of vengeance and wrath. What is known about the Bible is how it was written in perfect, reverse astrotheological order. As we move through the precession of the equinoxes, which explains the reverse order of the astrological signs. For example, when the Israelites idolized the golden calf, when Moses went to the mountains, it symbolizes the age of Taurus. When Moses blew the ram's horn, it symbolizes the age of Aries. When Jesus fed the masses with two fish, it symbolized the age of Pisces. When Jesus said to follow the man bearing the pitcher of water, it symbolized the age of Aquarius. If nothing else, the Bible teaches us about how astrotheology was used to control the masses because the Bible's timeline brings us to an artificial end time right now. Which is why we are seeing those in power trying to evoke the revelations chapter when we could be living in a world of peace and harmony instead of chaos. The Anunnaki Timetable What if the Bible is an encrypted timetable for the return of our galactic family? It is possible that the ruling elite know this and are trying to create the end times to prevent humanity from ascending in order to harvest our energy for their own. Our contact reasons while keeping us living in fear as economic slaves to a broken system of fiat currency. Perhaps these times will bring us to the return of the Anunnaki, the creator, gods. It's interesting that in Genesis 1 ratio 26, it says, Let us make man in our own image. The us are the Elohim who were the creator gods in the Bible. But is it possible that they are Anunnaki as well? secret society influences. What we do know is that the name Jesus never existed at the time of the alleged birth because the letter Ja wasn't invented until the 1500s. This also means that there was no official John, Job, Jacob, Jeremiah, Jude, Joseph, etc. The King James Version of the Bible wasn't written until the year 1611 and was edited by Rossi Curran, the Freemason, Sir Francis Bacon. With ties to the secret societies, it is possible that the truth was twisted and encrypted. What we do know is that there is a Christian Bible on the main floor of any Freemason lodge. But when you get to the 33rd degree of Freemasonry, the Luciferian doctrine is followed by those who have been initiated in this level. Additionally, the 33rd degree Mason motto is Odo Ab Chaos which means order out of chaos. You can do all these things and more. According to the work of Greg Braden, we only have 22 of the 64 codons in our DNA turned on. Imagine what we might be capable of doing if all of our codons were activated. Perhaps this is what is meant when Jesus said that you can do all these things and more. John 14 ratio 12 KJV Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that believeth on me, he works that I do shall he do also, and greater works than these shall he do, because I go unto my Father. Is it possible that our DNA is about to fully activate after being genetically manipulated by the Anunnaki? Is this something we can do for ourselves? Is Jesus the name of the Mayans Kukulkan and the Aztecs Quetzalcoatl? It seems many things that are in humanity's best interest are suppressed. Look no further 
than Stanley Meyer's invention of water-powered car that could go from coast to coast in the United States on 22 gallons of water. He was offered 1 billion by the automotive industry but turned it down because he wanted this invention to go out to the people. Shortly afterwards, he was poisoned to death. There was a blonde-haired, blue-eyed man by the name of Kulku Khan who visited the Maya and taught them about astronomy, agriculture, medicine and mathematics. It is believed that he came from the Pleiades to help the Maya civilization and promised to return to some future date. The same entity is described as the Quetzalcoatl by the Aztecs. Could this story be the same as the story of Jesus? Is it possible that Jesus was an extraterrestrial from a neighboring planet or star system? We know very little about Jesus from the time of his birth until his 30s. If the star of Bethlehem was a UFO, then is it possible that Jesus went back to the mothership to prepare himself for the teachings he would give to the masses until the time of his alleged death. As Michael Tellinger points out, the most compelling argument against the mythological gauze theory is that roughly 9000 years BC prior to the appearances of Sumer, the Mayan civilization suddenly emerged and astoundingly showed the same predictions towards agriculture, planting, harvesting, social organization, trade and commerce as Sumeria all attributable to the teachings of the gods. Is it possible even likely that more than one ET group or groups have left their mark on earth? In this writer's opinion, the story of Jesus was created by the church as a means of subservience, control and conformity to religion and government. While it's definitely possible that an entity with supernatural abilities existed, he was most likely an extraterrestrial or possibly an Anunnaki hybrid. Jesus came from space in the 15th century picture found evidence as UFO. Jesus Christ was an alien and the immaculate conception in this result of an experiment in genetic engineering conducted by representatives of highly developed civilization that existed on other planets. So say ufologists who discovered a UFO in a medieval painting with the religious context. The Italian artist Carlo Crivelli painted the painting The Annunciation with Saint Amidius in 1486. In the picture, as ufologists suddenly discovered, there is something very similar to an alien saucer. A strange object in this case emits a beam that is directed to the Virgin Mary. Finding that amazing details in the 15th century picture, the ufologists suggested that the cause of the Immaculate Conception as a result of which Jesus was born, was this mysterious UFO ray. The birth of the Jesus was the result of a large-scale experiment that the aliens had on earthly women. Probably Jesus was not the only child like that, but he was widely known. That is how things happen. The list was ghost ufologists. If you enjoy this video and want to see more like it, please consider subscribing to us and hitting the like button. Feel free to write a comment below and suggest which theory you want to see next. If you'd like to further support this channel, please consider joining. Our membership link will be found in the description box below. We appreciate your support, and as always, thanks for watching.